Welcome back. Astronomy fans have yet another bright sight to set their eyes on tonight. Our weather team says a super moon will make the moon look more impressive than normal. News 5's meteorologist Casey Dorn shows us why. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a giant moon. If you look up to the skies Wednesday morning, the moon will look brighter than usual. In astronomy, this is known as a super moon, and this one is the biggest in years. Although the supermoon won't be wearing a cape, it'll certainly be supersized. Relatively speaking, if you hold a nickel out against the sky, that's the size of the smallest full moon. A supermoon is closer to the size of a quarter. Now, if the moon orbited Earth in a perfect circle, the distance between the Earth and the moon would not change, but it doesn't. The moon's orbit is slightly oval shaped, known as an elliptical orbit. The farthest point in its orbit, called its apogee, is about a quarter of a million miles away. The closest point in the orbit is called the perigee, with the moon about 220 to 230,000 miles away. Now, you might wonder why the apogee and perigee aren't always the same. That's because Earth's orbit is all also elliptical, so the sun's gravity on the moon changes. And when everything lines up just right, the moon is about 14% closer to us than when it's farthest away, and it appears 30% brighter. We call a full moon at apogee a micromoon. Now, supermoons are not rare. We get about three to four each year, and you typically won't notice the bigger size unless you're paying very close attention, but the moon will be noticeably brighter. That's because objects like the moon get brighter fast as they get closer to you. So if the moon is 14% closer, it's 30% brighter. To see the supermoon, look outside before bedtime. It'll be highest in the sky at 1121 p.m. If you're an early riser, you'll be able to see it until 645 a.m. Wednesday morning. While supermoons are not rare, the November 2025 supermoon is the biggest since February of 2019. So check out the bright moon tonight and send us photos if you take any. Meteorologist Casey Dorn, News 5.